Adding and editing images in Framer is uh, quite easy. There's uh, a few ways you can add images. The first one is going under Layout and clicking on Image. And then you can uh, use the left mouse button, drag and create uh, your image uh, field. The other option is using the keyboard shortcut Shift plus I and uh, you're going to prompt the exact uh, same uh, image option. Now there is uh, one last way that I want to show you to add an image. You can simply drag and drop uh, an element uh, or an image uh, directly onto the frame or canvas uh, and as you can see it's going to be added uh, in uh, a second. Now if we go under the fill you can see that uh, we have uh, this uh, and layer set as an image. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're going to explore the different options which you have uh, at uh, your disposal right here. First of all, you can replace the image by simply clicking on choose image. Then you can uh, use uh, any other image to replace it. Now there's also some other options. Uh, first one being the resolution. The auto is uh, the one which is going to be default uh, and uh, you're probably going to use it uh, the majority of the time. There is also the option to have uh, auto lossless uh, and uh, you could even uh, make uh, the resolution uh, smaller so that uh, it's going to be minimized uh, in terms of uh, file size uh, on the web and uh, you can make it minute, large or full. Now most of the times I simply clip it on auto since uh, it's going to be the best uh, bridge between uh, small resolution uh, and quality of the image. Now let's explore the other options uh, which uh, we have at our disposal. Now I'm going to add the image uh, in uh, this uh, other way which I showed you at the very beginning of uh, this tutorial and uh, I'm going to focus on uh, the type. Now as you can see fill is uh, going to fill up uh, the element which uh, we deemed as the layer of uh, the image and uh, if uh, we transition to fit you can see how now the entire image is going to fit uh, regardless of uh, the ratio or the size that uh, we are attributing to that specific uh, element. Now if we check uh, there's going to be two other options and by the way, you can also uh, set the position to either center or left. So if uh, we go ahead and uh, we make this uh, a little bit bigger, you're going to see exactly what I'm referring to. If I center it, it's going to be here. It's going to be right. Uh, that's uh, where it's going to go. So you can play around uh, with uh, these settings depending on uh, what you need uh, at uh, that specific time. Now we're going to also see the stretch which as you can see it's essentially going to stretch the image and uh, try to accommodate uh, to fill up uh, the entire element uh, of uh, the layer. And uh, the very last one is going to be the tile which uh, as the name suggests uh, is essentially going to scale up uh, or down the image. Um, based on this scale value to create uh, a tile effect which uh, you can uh, also use some of the presets uh, that you see here in case you need uh, some uh, of uh, these uh, uh, specific uh, tiles which of course is going to um, remove the image which you selected as these tiles uh, presets are actually considered as uh, images. So we're simply going to leave it at fill and uh, one last uh, element uh, which is uh, quite important uh, in uh, this option is the alt text. Now what the alt text does uh, is uh, it's going to give uh, the search engines uh, a clue as to what the image is about. So for example the alt text uh, for this image uh, could be a uh, man wearing bracelet and uh, <clears throat> this is going to be uh, very useful not only for Google or other search engines but um, also for accessibility since uh, individuals uh, 
uh, with uh, visual impairments uh, or probably uh, going to utilize uh, some uh, uh, softwares that is going to enable them to uh, hear what uh, the uh, image visuals are about. So this is going to be really useful for them uh, and uh, we always want to be mindful of uh, accessibility on the web. So it's uh, just a really nice thing to consider for them as well. Now we also have two more options. The first one being uh, the crop and uh, as the name suggests, uh, this is going to enable you to crop uh, a specific uh, part uh, of an image. You can also set uh, the uh, height in uh, width uh, and uh, in the height over here and you can uh, crop it uh, and as you're going to see, it's going to crop uh, the image in that, in that specific uh, location. One more thing uh, is uh, you can uh, Utilize the Unsplash library directly from Framer by clicking on uh, Unsplash and uh, you can uh, search uh, through the entire Unsplash library, which by the way <clears throat> is a huge uh, library of uh, royalty-free photos. Uh, I know that some photos you're going to need to check the, the copyright and the terms and conditions, but overall uh, an amazing resource uh, from Unsplash.com which uh, I utilize uh, quite often, so I highly recommend you to check out uh, as um, it's really a solid uh, library. So this is it when it comes to images uh, and uh, we're going to continue with the next